We're learning now that actor and activist Sean Penn meeting with the fugitive drug lord in October of 2015, just three months after that kingpin, while Chapo Guzman escaped from Antiplano prison, the prison you see behind me. Apparently, Christy, this was all brokered by a famous Mexican actress here uh, named Kate Del Castillo. She's famous for a telenovela series here called La Reina del Sur. Uh, she apparently tweeted back in 2012 her, uh, her support for El Chapo and her distrust with the Mexican government. It was that social media post that built a relationship between the drug kingpin and the actress, uh, something they uh, continued for the number of years, for the next three years. Even while he was in uh, prison behind bars, they were sending messages to each other over Blackberry Messenger, writing letters to each other. And it was this relationship, apparently, that helped Sean Penn meet El Chapo in person in the middle of Mexico, apparently in an undisclosed location. Uh, we have part of that interview that was posted last night on Rollingstone.com. How did you get involved in the drug business? Well, from the age of 15 and on, where I'm from, which is the municipality of Badiraguato, I was raised in a ranch called La Tuna, in that area. And until today, there are no job opportunities. Is it true what they say, that drugs destroy humanity and bring harm? Well, it's a reality that drugs destroy. Unfortunately, as I said, where I grew up, there's no other way, and there still isn't, a way to survive. No other way to work in our economy, to be able to make a living. Do you think it's true you are responsible for the high level of drug addiction, for the fact that there are so many drugs in the world? No, that's false. Because the day I don't exist, there's not going to decrease in any way at all. Drug trafficking, that's false. Pretty chilling words there from the world's most notorious drug trafficker, El Chapo Guzman. He went on to talk about, Victor and Christie how he entered the drug trade uh, at the age of 15. He was already in the marijuana fields with peasant farmers at the age of nine, saying, as you heard there, he really had no other option. There was really no other way to get out of his small town in the state of Sinaloa.